So it's the following day after I released uh, episode 66 on the Hall Truck build. Um, I just wanted to kind of get um, the airbags situated to see how they would go. Um, and they will, I, there is an existing hole in there and it will mount to the frame. Um, the upper bracket will mount to the frame, went through the existing hole in the lower airbag bracket and again both sides will mount to the frame um, but after I posted that video Brian Block and uh, somebody else I, I don't remember his name but uh, they got back to me about these uh, things and I haven't responded to him yet in the comments but I will um, their question was, on the axle, there is a pin that sticks up. Um, on the old axle, there was a pin that stick, uh, stuck up and it, it attached to the leaf springs. On this axle, there's a pin that sticks up and there's a block that goes on it and um, it rests in that pin. Now, their, their question was, is did I get that hole centered with the pin? And I, to tell you the truth, when I, I put this thing together over a year ago, I think there was a slot in that thing, but I don't recall exactly. But what I am going to do, I, I just kind of wanted to test fit this to see if it would work. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this thing apart um, again pull this side off because I think this side is raised up and not sitting on that pin correctly but um, let me I, I will pull that apart I will respond to Brian's and the other guys comment also but um, yeah that could be an issue but I, I just kind of wanted to test fit that in there to see how they looked how they worked you know, sometimes life is annoying as shit. I had been working on these airbags, and what I had done is uh, I had some quarter-inch airline tubing laying around from um, putting airbags on my Ram truck. Um, that and other, some other things. But I had the tubing laying around. I also had some quarter-inch slip fittings for the tubing, the plastic airline tubing. So the other day I went out to Napa and got a, a quarter inch right angled, um, so it's quarter inch national pipe thread to a quarter inch plastic hose adapter fitting on a right angle. They only had one in stock, so I had to um, had them order me three more of them. Um, and I get over here and Lo and behold, this one is tapped for quarter inch, and this one must be tapped for three eighths national pipe thread. So now I got to go out and get a um, three eighths to quarter inch bushing, um, which probably wouldn't have been a big deal any other time, except now friggin nobody has anything and I, I might end up going to like four different places to find one so I got a fitting um, I actually found one next door in uh, my landlord's supply of uh, fittings pipe fittings so um, I pumped them up uh, as you can see it's probably maybe inch and a half off of the jack stands pumped them up uh, I was pumping it up and I'm getting no pressure on on the little hand pump um, but then I looked at the jack stands and saw that it had raised up it, apparently um, pressure there is not going to be any pressure unless I went to the maximum of the airbag and then started building it because there's no weight resistance against forcing down against those airbags put weight on it the pressure would probably go up right now um, but anyways, um, yeah, I, I've still got to adjust that one on the left-hand side. 
uh, retake it off of the axle and readjust it and see what's going on with that thing. But um, I just wanted to make sure that um, these things were good. Um, yeah, just try it out. So back on the haul truck, um, just one thing that I wanted to show you. I had explained to you in the last video that I had produced on this uh, about uh, getting this exhaust manifold and I just wanted to kind of bring it over to the head and mount it on it. Um, my uh, uh, intention on uh, turbochargers for this thing is to put a compound turbo on it. Um, but I, what I wanted to do was just bring it over here and kind of get an idea of how it's going to be mounted. I'll uh, take you kind of up to the front of the truck. I still have the engine in the truck. It hasn't been rebuilt yet. So I still have the engine in the truck. And I'll kind of uh, explain to you about the room that I have to mount it. So I have different mounting options. I just want to kind of figure out if there's a kit available to um, kind of get the exhaust piping from one turbo to another. So uh, let me bring that back to you, um, bring you back and I'll show you the front of the truck. So here we are over to the front of the truck in the engine sitting in here. Logically the, the uh, um, head is not on, but it just so happens that these two blocks of wood are about equal to the thickness of the head. So um, the turbo will come off of here, and uh, unlike a 5.9 or a 6.7 Cummins, the turbo actually comes off the top of the exhaust manifold, not the bottom of it. So it comes out here. Um, but as you can see from the hood line in comparison to that, I have like a ton of room in here to to work with it. So my intention right now is kind of do some research on it to see if I can um, find something of logically or they do not make anything or at least I don't think they make anything for a um, uh, A3 Cummins in compound turbo piping uh, arrangement but there is a possibility that maybe um, I could use something from a 6.7 or a 5.9 um, to get the um, exhaust manifold because it's a T4 um, on it, I might be able to get something from the exhaust manifold um, for again for a six seven or a five nine to adapt to the eight three. But I'll bring you back and kind of show you uh, more of that probably at a later date after I do some exploration and research on what is available and what's not available for it. One of the other things I kind of want to show you is I have, like Jerry, rigged a, a shock absorber into there. Um, so I'm going to have them kind of going straight up and down because they're they're um, proud of the airbag. So there's enough room into it. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to show that to you that I had kind of... Uh, done that. I've still got to fix that other side. Um, as I explained in a previous video that that thing isn't on there straight and that's probably might be the uh, reason why um, the airbag bracket is pitched up or down is because that thing's not on there straight. But let me, uh, uh, again, I've got to do that, uh, pull that um, pull it off of there, the U-bolts off of there, see if I can rearrange that bracket so that it's on there uh, straight and uh, see if that was the cause of the problem. 
I'm just showing you a shot of the back of the truck. Now, I'm going to show you some clips uh, beginning with me removing the bracket over on the left hand side of the thing off of the top of the axle. There was some thought that uh, maybe I hadn't got the slot uh, from the bracket on the top of the axle. This, this part right here. There, on the top of the axle there's a pin that sticks up and what it does is it centers that bracket onto the axle. And there was a thought in my last video and some comments that maybe I hadn't got that in there. Well, I, I got it apart and you're going to see me taking it apart in the last... Um, um, in the next clips, you're going to see me taking it apart and um, that uh, pin was in the slot. Um, again, it's a slot, not a hole, uh, but it was in there. What, what I think may have happened now, now is the bracket that holds the trailing arm on top of the axle might be different from that side to this side, which might have caused it. So you're going to see me pulling that apart. Um, I also um, will comment on some other things about it too. Um, most of this video is going to be just me doing it, edited video where I've shortened it and it's going to be me doing it with no voice. I'm standing here behind the um, haul truck and the last video that I made, um, some people had talked about, um, the last video that I made on the haul truck, some people had talked about um, maybe this uh, trailing arm, um, they, the axle has a pin in the top of it 
um, this bracket that kind of holds a trailing arm onto the axle or centers it onto the axle has a, a hole in it and uh, both on top and on the bottom so the pin from up on the axle comes into the bottom but there's a pin in the trailing arm that comes down into the hole in the top of it some people questioned whether that was in there or not but what the issue is I, I took it back apart and made sure that it was in there um, kind of marked it to find out to make sure that it was in there um, both on the axle and both uh, for that pin and for the pin that's in that trailing arm what happens is I, I, I get them lined up and put them in there but as soon as I start torquing the U-bolts down it changes the geometry of it and um, I'll talk more about that in a minute but you can see how it changes the geometry um, th this isn't holding anything and I'm resting on that one, but it's actually pulled the frame off of this one. And they were level before. Um, so I told you when I start torquing, pulling their, tightening the U-bolts, it cha starts changing the geometry. So I thought, okay, maybe I'm not tightening the U-bolts in a, a correct sequence so I went back and tried various ways of tightening the U-bolts but the same thing keeps happening so I'm, I'm back to the point where I think the trailing arms from one side to the other have a different bend in them I had addressed that issue in um, previous videos on this thing. Actually, tried to rebend this thing, but without taking it apart and probably putting it in a press, it's it's not going to happen on the truck. Um, so I, I really don't know what to do at this point. I'm actually giving some thought to milling that holding bracket at a different angle so that it uh, the trailing arm sits onto the bracket differently and, and uh, does it. But again... Um, it's become a problem and um, it, it was a problem to begin with and it's still a problem so um, I've, I've got to deal with this um, yeah, again so you, if people don't know you're a new viewer to this thing this is not the original axle not the original suspension. The axle is um, out of a truck that I uh, picked up the axle in North Carolina, I think it was, on a back. Uh, I was uh, down there on a haul and just grabbed it while I was down there. And um, the suspension system, the trailing arms, um, airbag brackets, stuff like that, attachments to the front um, were taken off of a um, I picked up at a local salvage yard not really sure what they came off of I think it was a international cab over but um, yeah so the saga continues with the issue on this thing